Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the usage of the object.entries function in JavaScript. Uh, so basically, this function right here is really useful and I think that any modern JavaScript developer should know about this function. And essentially, it allows you to convert your objects into arrays of key value pairs. So essentially, what you're going to get from using this function is a two-dimensional array of key and value pairs. So in turn, that then allows you to easily loop over your objects and it also works really nicely uh, with the URL search params constructor. So I'm going to be showing you how to use this function and also just a few uh, examples and a use case. So let's go inside the text editor right here and begin inside the JavaScript of course by creating a new object to actually work with. So I'm going to say const right here, call this object person equal to a very plain and simple JavaScript object containing two properties, name as dom and age as being, let's just make DOM 29 years of age. So, now we have this object, we can then use the entries function on the actual object. So, I'm going to say console.log, I'm going to log out object.entries and pass in person. As we can see here, we don't actually call the entries uh, function on the person object itself, instead we are calling it on the global object just like this, and then saying dot entries and instead we're passing in our object into that. So unfortunately we can't do something like person dot entries and expect this to work. This right here is not going to work. So um, now I'm going to save this and refresh the browser and inside the console we can see right here we get a two dimensional array. This array is going to contain um, arrays of key and value pairs. So we can see first up here um, with these arrays at index 0 you get, um, you get the actual key within your object and then its value in index 1. So of course name DOM and then age 29. So that's essentially the basic usage of the entries uh, function. So now Let's take a look at an example of how to loop over your key and value pairs. Obviously, this being an array, it's going to be really straightforward. So, let's go back inside the editor and get rid of this line. And instead, we're going to be using a for of loop. So, we're going to say for const just like this. And then, we're going to be using array destructuring to extract the key and the value from each one of our key value pairs. So we're going to say const and then using the square bracket syntax we are going to say key and then comma value and then we're going to say of of object.entries just like earlier and of course pass in person. So now with this array destructuring essentially uh, this loop right here is going to run twice one for each key and value pair and of course uh, because the key is at index 0 and the value at index 1, it will be key here and then value here. So obviously name, DOM and then age 29. So now I can say console.log and using ES6 template strings, I'm going to say key, then log out of course the key inside here and then I can say value and do the exact same thing just like this. Okay. I'm now going to save this and refresh the browser once again and we get here key name value DOM key age value 29. So it definitely works really well when you want to loop over your object. Um, now also it's extra useful because this right here does not look at the properties inside the prototype chain. So basically um, as opposed to using um, the for in loop, okay, with the um, with the for in loop, you need to say uh, things like object dot has own property and do all of this checking uh, with the entries method or the entries function. Um, you don't actually need to do this has own property because the entries does not look at the prototype chain. Okay, so uh, once again, this is the preferred method of looping over your objects. 
Um, and finally, I want to be showing you a useful example of how um, the entries method can be used as a, um, apart from uh, looping over it. So let's go up here and uh, let's just say we want to be firing off some sort of HTTP request to the server um, and we're going to be passing in this person right here in the get URL string. So in order to do this in JavaScript, a common way might be to use a URL search params um, object. So we can say right here, const search params, or let's just make it params actually. So const params is equal to a new URL search params. Now, uh, the URL search params constructor takes in or is able to take in an array of key value pairs. So um, we are of course going to say object.entries right here and pass in person. So now we're essentially of course giving the URL search params constructor our array of key value pairs which means we've essentially set all of our key value pairs for the URL search params object in one go with the use of the constructor. So now if I was to say console.log params.toString just like this I'm going to save this here and refresh and we can see we now get name equals DOM and age 29. So um, there's a useful example aside from looping of what you can do with the object.entries function. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.